Why, hello everybody, and welcome to the third gigantic marathon episode of my new Let's Play, Let's Play Civ 5, Giant Earth, Russia. Now, we are at the point where we have a decision to make. As you see, we only have two cities, we're kind of behind, and a lot of the good stuff up here, I mean, this is a really good area to want to settle in, but these damn Spartans, these damn Greeks, are all up in my business up here, and it's kind of blocking, blocking me off here. I did want to settle up there, but these stupid Greeks are in my way. So I am thinking that what we should do is gear up for a showdown with the Greeks. Now, we have to make some calculations here, right? We already have bronze working, good. That's 13 plus 18 is 31 turns until we get construction. Everything else after that is kind of, well, mathematics is going to be important, so we're going to get that after. But, we need to redo our stuff here because war production is the most important of all. We need our um, our tech to be better. We need to bump up that library. So 31 turns, right? Um, so that's 13. And of course, things will change. The, the cray post, which is, of course, our barracks. We're going to build that immediately after because our science has to not suck. And then we are going to build... That's right. They're going to be, they are going to be, um, what's it called? Uh, you know what I'm trying to say, right? They're going to be composite bowmen after long, but we need to, um, really ramp up war production. Of course, some of these can be canceled later, but we have to do it. We have to. Now... You know, it's a big risk because these look like pushover cities. We don't know what they have there. And of course, it's going to be like 30, 40, maybe 50 turns down the road before we get there. The cities might be more protected. They might have more troops. There might be more of them. And it's going to be dangerous. So it's going to be a risk. Also, um, the Polish might get antsy, and anyone else might get mad that we're doing this. It's going to be a big risk to our people and our empire, you know? But what's the alternative? We could settle over here, and the terrain is, eh, okay. Like, there's some wheat here. If we go down here, we might be able to nab this marble. I mean, it's something. It's not that good. But you know what? This is just the land of milk and honey right here. This is where all the riches are. This is where all the goodies are. And if we settle up here, I mean, if we take this city, burn the city down, and then one, two, three, we're going to have a total of, well, that's going to be six cities in our empire, which is really a lot for this early on in the game. It's a big risk. But if I can corner the market on truffles, I can sell them all all over the world maybe not over here maybe not not to the french and not to the spanish either okay this plan is sounding a little bit more silly but you know what even if we don't found three cities up here we can at least find found one maybe two and um get those truffles we can sell them we can get these furs and after all what are russians without our fur coats so, it's going to be a big risk, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a monumental task. But you know what? With the Russian spirit, we can do it. We can break through. We can teach those Greeks what it's all about. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, let's put on... There we go. For victory! For the motherland! For victory! Motherland! Yeah! Let's get him! Oh.
Oh. oh man, it just uh, it makes my heart swell like many sizes larger. Oh, the we will be victorious in our conquest. We will have the Russian flag over all of the world. Oh my goodness, everyone will learn to respect our truffles and our fur coats and the might of our mighty military as we humble the Greeks, we crush the Poles, we embarrass the, the Byzantines, and everything, yes, we are going to rule the world, the entire world, the motherland, for the glory of the motherland! Oh, goodness, all right. Now that we got that out of our system, let's get on to the game. Okay, now we have made our decision, and we're not going to back down on that, so nobody think I'm going to go soft. We're going hard. Meanwhile, we have a new religion that was founded. Um, now we have more barbs, barbarous, barbarous butt men. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, Hinduism, we don't know where. <coughs> if India's in the game, it might be them. We'll probably find out soon, because we have a guy over there. But yeah, we are not going to be meek, even though the temptation to be meek is there. We are going to um, take a bold move, and I do understand that there is a chance that it's going to completely blow up in our face. Oh, someone's over there, I think. That might just be a river. But yeah, someone... Um, <clears throat> it might blow up in our face. We might fail completely. And we might be the scourge of the earth and also backwards forever. But you know what? You gotta take those risks, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do it, you know? Ask the girl out, right? What's the worst that can happen? She'll say no, right? Big deal. Just go home listen to My Chemical Romance for a few hours and get over it. You'll be fine. So, that's the, um, the Bone Canoe, uh... Oh, look, see? St. Petersburg, they want us to do this. See, the people want it. They absolutely do. So, I guess that is the, um, the Bone Canoe lesson for the day, <clears throat> is that life is too short to be meek. Take the big chances. Do the big things. Because... And I'm actually being, uh, I'm actually being, uh, you know, as serious as I can be about this because when they interview people at the end of their life, they never regret what they did so much as they regret what they didn't do. So don't be that guy who has regrets. And we need another, we need another worker, don't we? Oh man, where is our worker? Are you going up there to fix that? Okay, good. After you do that, we're sending you down to St. Petersburg to get some copper, get some bison. Oh, yes, we are going to do it. Fix this tile. We do need another worker. How uh, can I take? Can I take the ten? Spare the ten turn deviation? I don't know, man. Probably not. We might be able to make it in St. Petersburg. Uh, before long. But yeah, we don't have the ability to even make, uh, lumber mills yet, right? Yeah, we won't for 18 turns, so there's very little we can do around here that's going to be useful to us. So we might as well send them down there to St. Petersburg. We're not, we're not bullying Riga. They're our friend. Or, well, they're not our friend, but we want them to be our friend. All right, somebody's up there. Somebody was up there. I'm going to find you. Oh, there's Hong Kong. I'm sorry, we're not going to be uh, really doing much to help you out. Okay. My goal with <clears throat> sending these guys out is twofold. Number one, I want to uncover some of the land to the east so we can see when barb encampments spawn. And number two, if we 
grind our troops against barbs, that's going to make them more powerful when we um, use them on the Greeks, you know? Oh, crap. All right, where are you? Oh, you're way over there. We might still get it. There's plenty of time. We're going to have to upgrade these guys, probably. I don't know if we're going to have the money, though. I'm also putting off my other trade route, which might not be the smartest decision. But I'm hoping with the um, combination of goody huts and pillaging barbs that we'll have enough money to fund our empire for a little bit. Yeah, the Greeks have have hoplites, but I think we can uh, we can get those. Yeah, we need uh, we need another worker. We really need another worker. Oh man, what's your production? Eleven. Your production is three. All right, we're gonna we're still gonna hold off, but we'll get there. Oh man, I blew my throat out doing that. Oh, there you are. You can't run from us. Oh, hey! Korea. It's kind of interesting because Korea, um, in this game, usually sucks. I don't know why, but they do. Maybe not this time. Usually, like, the, the Chinese and or the Japanese just... Just sort of make them their bitch. That's usually what happens. But Seoul's a pretty good city. Maybe one of these days I'll try a, you know, a Korea game. I've never played Korea on the um, giant world map. I have played Korea before at other times, and they're a really fun sim to play. And I really like their starting location, so... If our Great War fails and Russia becomes a failed empire, just crushed beneath the wheels of history, just completely eviscerated and all that, then maybe I'll start over as Korea. I actually had two ideas for other games to play on this map. Uh, number one, oh yeah, we can't, oh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. He has to go all the way around. Hopefully there's no bad guys down there. But yeah, number one was that, playing as Korea, but number two was... I had an interesting idea for a self-challenge. Um, to play as Polynesia, and keep in mind, the, where are you going, by the way, you dumb settler? But yeah, to play as Polynesia, because they can go over ocean tiles immediately. And what I'd like to do is to completely colonize Australia as Polynesia. It's entirely plausible because Australia is <clears throat> very far away from where any empire spawns. Like, Indonesia is kind of close by, Siam's kind of close by, but neither of them really bring cities down there, so nobody touches Australia until, like, way late in the game. It's a big continent, but it's also, you know, it's not infinite. It's not like Asia. So eventually, you will get to the limit of it. So, um... It is entirely possible to completely tame the continent. And also there's two city-states that usually spawn down there. Those being uh, Sydney and uh, what's the other one? It's not Melbourne. What's the other big Australian city? I I forget. You're going to have to remind me. It's, it might be Melbourne, actually. I don't remember. But you have two German, or German uh, Australian city-states. So, um, you have those guys to trade with and, uh, to, uh, you know, hopefully ally with. If you're going to be kicking a lot of barb butts, that's going to help you. So those are some options for future ideas. And also playing as Polynesia is very fun, because you can just send settlers, or, well, yes, yeah, settlers, but more likely scouts just all over the map and, uh, have them just, uh, Kick all sorts of ass. Take all sorts of names. Alright, this is precarious, but I think we can whack him. Okay. Oh, hey. You know what? You know what? 
There's our second worker. He's right there. He's been right there the entire time. Oh, that means he might he might die. Uh Okay. Barbarian galley. Man, these guys aren't messing around. Yeah, Scandinavia is pretty empty. Also, if we found a city right on the edge here, we might be able to get this awesome, awesome source of iron over here. Holy crap. Oh, yes. I don't want to be known as a warmonger, so I really want this war to go super well and do everything we need it to do for us. Napoleon has completed Stonehenge. What an asshole. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Not that my tabs are interesting. Dude. I really do love the Russian National Anthem, by the way. It's just very... It fills you full of... Um, I don't want to say patriotism, because I'm not Russian. I mean, it would fill you full of patriotism if you were a Russian. But for me, it fills me full of... I don't know. It's just sort of just very, um, it's very grand, you know? It just, it, it shows me, it's, it sounds like a people who love themselves, you know? They understand their own value, and that's very attractive to me. Oh, poop, poop on a scoop. Okay. There we go. I always think of castling in uh, chess when I do that. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, hey. Hi, China. We are going to accept the embassy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Someday, maybe, it would be nice to visit Russia, but, you know... It's probably not going to happen for me. Oh, we get a settler. Hmm. You know what? Oh. Damn it. Oh, god damn it. Mother... F All right. We're going to have to do some math here. Because if in 19 turns... If we skip right to optics to get around that bullshit that's going to be turn 19 turns into 32 turns and what do we have here in 32 turns we'll already be balls deep into building our oh god damn it you know what we're going to hold off on it we are going to hold off on getting this right here instead Um, happiness is a major problem, but you know what? We could use a golden age, really. Let's do this first. Uh, do we want to? Um, gosh. Nah, you know, we're doing this. Golden age. Does that speed up our... It doesn't appear to. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, so that means we don't have to worry about going around the stupid Greeks. We're going to go through them. Through the Greeks. Yeah, you enjoy, you enjoy your crap for now, Greece, because we're coming for you. Enjoy those cities while you can. Enjoy being a non, a, a, a not completely useless country yet. We might actually get a Pantheon, crazily enough. I mean, I don't think we will, but there's a small chance that we still can. That one faith a turn is slowly plugging away. I'm also really sad that my African scout died. I wanted to see more of that continent. Undoubtedly, there was a lot of uh, good stuff down there. Oh, well. Maybe eventually we'll be able to send a guy down there. The world's busiest people. I'm taking this to mean production quality. Yeah, Greece sucks. 
Honestly, they really do. Even even us. Where are we? Oh, we're pretty good. But yeah, Grease is balls. I mean, I just don't think that... I mean, I don't want to underestimate people. I'm going to actually let this guy go, I think, because I really want to get this worker. <coughs> and we are going to escort him back. We're going to give him a royal escort all the way back to Russia because we really, um, we really need him. We need to build a road. We need a worker in each city. All right. I think we'll be able to hold off and let this guy heal. So let's uh, clear out these guys. When it comes closer to uh, time for the war, we are going to bring some of these guys back. And of course, we are going to have to keep like a skeleton force on our eastern frontier because, you know, barbs never sleep and we're going to have to monitor that shit. But I think by and large, we can do it. We can do it. We can have we can have what we want. We can have our cake and eat it too. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, we know the English are there, but we still haven't formally met them. Maybe we won't meet them until after we've already crushed the Greeks. All right, Nebuchadnezzar. I've always liked that name, Nebuchadnezzar. It just sounds cool. It is, of course, a biblical name. I I think it must have been a historical name, too. But I mostly know it as the, um, you know, as you probably also do from the Matrix. You know, that was the name of their, um, their ship. Whoa. Hi, Barbs. It is a it is a really cool badass sounding name. Oh god damn it! Actually no, this will be good. Oh you fuckers, you better not get it. Okay, he can't get it. This guy's gonna go back, and then we're gonna do it. Yeah, if Greeks if Greece takes our worker, I'll be sorely tempted to start this war a lot earlier than I originally meant to. All right, so you fight. This is where that guy went. We're buying time for him to heal. All right, yes, and we also have to keep very good track of where barbarian encampments are um, spawning in our world. Because... If one spawns like way out here somewhere, then we don't have to care. By the way, <coughs> new Egyptian city. Fun fact, on a live stream from like literally five or six years ago, I was pretty drunk and I called that the Egyptian city of helicopter. <laughs> and it became sort of a, a, a meme after that. A, a house of sim meme, the Egyptian city of helicopter. We can build that, by the way. Probably won't. We have reached the classical era. Sweet. So 16 turns. We can start building our um, our bros. Oh, man. But we're going to get there first. You know what? Let's bump that guy up. Or do we want to put the water mill here? Hmm. Now we want to... We want to go straight for the um, the Ouchmen. Yeah, I think we're in... Uh, this, the position of this war guy makes me a little nervous. Now, there are no Barb encampments over here. But Barb can still come up from the south. So maybe I'll station a guy down there. Alright, as I thought... Um... That warrior came over here. So all we have to do is kill him. And then next turn we can grab that worker. Alright, let's tiptoe around the barb encampment. Also, major defeat is something you never want to see because that means you have a literal 0% chance of winning. 
And unlike Civ 4, there's not really a percent chance. It's pretty much you're going to die trying to do that. Okay. We discovered some stuff. There is some good stuff over here. By I guess the, these might be the Earl Mountains. I don't know. Or the Ural. The Earl Mountains. Uh, I, I sound so, like, uneducated. The Earl Mountains over in Rusha. And, but, you know. Oh, I think we're gonna be. Uh, I think we're gonna be all right here. Yeah, I'm glad that these episodes are super long, so we can see the entire um, it build up, and we might actually get to the part, if not the whole war. I really want to know whether Sparta is on the water or near the water, because I might have to. I might have to burn it down. I. Don't know for sure. Oh man, we're we're killing it over there. But yeah, let's keep poking around in Scandinavia now that we're there. All right, the tide is turning on these barbs. We'll probably just go to the um, Earls and the, or the Urals and then come back because we don't want to go to Nuss. <gasps> yes. Byzantium? No, you're not getting your worker back. It's mine now. In fact, that was probably a settler at one point. Um, but when you capture it, you get... Actually, no, it was a worker all along because it would have turned a settler until we captured it. So, yeah. <clears throat> that is our worker now. And on the very next turn, you will get a royal escort all the way back to Moscow. Uh, so very, so very happy. <clears throat> so yeah, my my goal with these guys is to scout up to the Urals and then pull back to like along here, so that way if anything spawns out there, we can immediately dispatch some guys to go and kill them. So that's pretty much how you control barbs in a giant map like that. You get the one honor that gives you the ability to see barb encampments and gives you a leg up on them. You scout out a wide enough area where you can see them coming. Then you form, you have enough troops so that as soon as you see one up here, you can send them and kill it before it gets out of hand. That's the idea. All right, Beijing's looking pretty strong too. Of course, if we ever do play as Korea and China's in our game that's that's the that's going to be our version of Poland and uh, Sparta or Greece rolled into one by the way we're starting to get religious pressure in Moscow already or not Moscow in St. Petersburg so their religion is spreading just to refresh ourselves if Catholicism catches on here we get faith for mosques they get gold but we also get hmm well that's going to help the Spartans if they get it <laughs> more that's going to help us so we want to get over there and uh, stop them alright here's what you're going to do you're going to plug this hole. It will also have the benefit of preventing other sieves from sending up settlers through that uh, passage. Alright, can we get him? We're playing with fire with this guy. Alright, but you're this worker's escort out of this dangerous area. I mean, there's been nothing on the radar. He'll probably be fine, but someone, something might spawn here at any moment, so... He is going to get an escort. Oh yeah, absolutely, Portugal. Why don't we be friends? I don't have any problem. Do they still have just the one city? Oh yeah, we're all friends. Now, I'm not friends with the Greeks, am I? Because that might complicate things. Nope, we're not friends. Let's see. Poland has enhanced Catholicism. I can no longer make a pantheon. But oh crap, what else we got? They got monasteries and mosques. 
All buildings purchased with faith provide tourism. That's all fine and good. Uh-oh, where is that? Uh, it's not immediately relevant, although they might spawn boats down here. All right. Can we get him? Yeah, we can get him. Yeah, it almost is like we are at war with the um, barbar- Ooh, speaking of barbs. Yeah, it's very dangerous over there because the mountains really hem you in. So... And the question is, do I want to send that guy up into Northeast Asia or down into South Asia? Maybe we'll send him north. It's a little bit more dangerous up there, but I think there's also more goodies. All right. We're going to keep these guys walking together. Man, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's... It is... There is a lot of fun in preparing for war. We're gonna bankrupt the hell out of our empire though. It's and we're gonna really like hurt our happiness. It's gonna it's gonna suck. It's not gonna be easy. But we've gotta do it. We've gotta do it for the motherland etc. Okay. Yeah, the cities have gone from 8 to like 10. Not that big of a deal. Religion founded. Byzantium has founded Judaism. Okay. What does Judaism have to offer? Because they're close by too. Uh, faith for industrial end units. Faster growth rate. That's okay. Gain faith for a great person. That's kind of meh. And for them, they get global... Happiness for a follower. Okay. Catholicism is better than Judaism. Also, in this game, it's better. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, in this game, it's better. So, we can, uh, we can look forward to having those benefits. Having a lot of faith buildings. So, we might want to work on, you know, at some point in the future, once things are stable in our empire... We might want to work on building some faith buildings because basically, um, oh look, Rome is really going nuts here. They've really circled in Venice. Look at that. But yeah, once we win this war, <clears throat> we need to number one stabilize. We well, number one, we need to put down settlers on every piece of land that we want, which is going to send our empire into a frenzy. We have to get our trade good. We have to get our happiness good by building coliseums and circuses. We have to get our money good with these, these guys, the currencies. And then once all that is good, I think it's probably a good idea to get some of those faith buildings built. But that's way down the road. So I think we're still on a pretty good trajectory right now. Yeah, we are much more warlike than uh, I thought we were going to be. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, we got to get this guy around here as much as it would be more convenient just to build up this guy next. Come on, expand to that thing. All right, but yeah, we are not friends with Greeks. We are just sort of, we are, we're fine. We're cool with Venice. Are we cool with Poland? We're not cool with Poland. We're not cool with Rome either. So pretty much looking around the world, our friends here are the Venetians and the uh, Portuguese. Not exactly the um, strongest people on the map, but... How about the Egyptians? How are we with them? Well, we're good with the Egyptians and these guys. I don't know. I feel it's only a matter of time before um, Assyria invades Babylon. I mean, look how close they uh, <laughs> us <coughs> started to one another. That tends to happen in a lot of places in this map, as I mentioned last time. 
Oh god, we want to go down that way. I think it's a death trap. Let's peek. Let's take a peek. Oh, right. Oh. I bet that was a... No, it was a Korean settler. Yeah, it tells you. I wonder if there's any hard feelings about... No, not really. They don't. I don't think they even noticed that we took their worker. Well, he's not enslaved by barbarians anymore. He's enslaved by Russians, and that's better. I believe in Russian, <coughs> you say, Russia. Russia. I can't really roll my R's. It's kind of interesting because there's actually... I learned this from a video not that long ago. There's actually two different ways that people pronounce the R sound. And sort of the, um, the what used to be the more common way was the R was kind of like a L. Your tongue was in a similar position to when you make the L sound. So um, if you go L, that would be about where your tongue would be to make the R sound. I can't really do it myself because I do it the other way, which is becoming more common these days. When I go R, it's much more like I'm making a V sound, but not putting my lip right on my tooth. It's like nearby to make a R sound, and that's why I can't roll my R's. So, oh, hi guys. So yeah, I find that fascinating. But yeah, two different ways to make a R sound. Oh, that's Mongolia. And as scary as Mongolia is in the hands of a human player, the AI plays them like an idiot, so we have very little to fear. What is this Hopolite doing poking around here? Oh, that's that guy. Okay. All right. The Greeks have gone honor, so you would think they'd have some sort of military of some size, but I'm guessing they're probably not going to be too strong. Okay. Oh, look, there's another Byzantine. What are you guys doing? You already lost one worker in this area. Do they have a city up there somewhere? They must. Oh. Oh, hi, guys. Let's wipe them all out. <coughs> ah, campaigning in the frozen tundra. I love how the spearmen can one-shot archers at this stage. All right, let's GTFO. Hello, Mongolia. Yeah, Mongolia in the hands of a human player, if you have horses, and especially if you have the right terrain, you're pretty much unstoppable. Like, you could just bulldoze countries. There was one time where, I kid you not, I played as Mongolia, and I completely erased four civilizations without without losing more than one Keshik. And the only reason I lost them is because I was getting a little careless by the end, but I only lost one Keshik and maybe a couple other units in the course of four wars, where I just... I essentially just erased the rest of a map. It was it was glorious. How many cities do you have? Four. Okay. They're pretty strong, and they are liberty and honor. They do tend to do that. Although, a couple times, I have seen, you know, religious Mongols. Interestingly enough, in real life, the Mongol Empire was pretty um, high on the freedom of religion thing, from what I understand, because I think Genghis himself was a Tangrealist, or however you pronounce that. Yeah, sure, Venice, we'll be friends. But um, there were Muslim cons, there were Christian cons, there were probably pagan cons also, you know, it's just all, all over the place with those guys. So that's kind of an interesting fact. 
Is anyone trading with me? Unfortunately not, and our happiness is shitty. Speaking of trading, what's our best trade route? St. Petersburg to Warsaw is the best trade route. Eventually, though, I think our shipping routes might be better. St. Petersburg to Warsaw. That's what we were doing already. Gives us a little science. We are catching up to science. Let's see. Poland has what? 13 technologies. We have... Where are we? We have 12. So we pretty much caught up with them on tech. We're not that far behind people. Venice has 18, though. They're doing well. In terms of that, and not in terms of anything else. Eventually, though, they're going to buy a city-state. It's uh, inevitable. They'll probably buy Prague, or they might go to Bucharest. If they buy Riga, though, I'll be pissed. All right, let's start bringing him back. Oh, man. Okay, now it's time to get you all the way around here. Hook up our happy spots. Sounds kinky. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Become a farmer. We need to uncover all these spots. You heal. Yeah, our efforts to uncover these spots is actually nearly done. Things are lining up pretty well. Founding a city out here is actually not a terrible idea. If things go well in this game, there's a chance we could eventually have like 9, 10, 11, 12 cities. But that's not going to be for a very long time. Greece, you suck. And I've already passed you in tech. I've passed you in every way. I've passed you in handsomeness. So, yeah, watch out for, watch out for me because I'm coming, coming for you. Oh, we're looking at those barbs again. We're taking a long way around to go around those mountains. Oh, hey, scout. If he's still around us when we're going to war, we can fight him. And, uh, you know, just add insult to injury. Which I want to do. I, wa I want to add insult to injury for them daring to settle in my natural Liebenstrom. Of course, that's the wrong country, but who cares? <laughs> Speaking of the wrong country, why is Sparta where St. Petersburg should be? That's still annoying. Wu Zitan has completed Terracotta Army. That might I think that doubles our military units, so I'd be scared if I was Korea. By the way, let's take a look at our thing here. Oh yeah, Korea sucks. They always do. <coughs> In this game, we kind of suck, though. Look at look at our stats. But our soldiers are better than average. See, there's average, there's us, and they're only going to get better. But, yeah, the Greeks are the lowest in gold production. We're still below average, but we're better than... But, yeah, these guys are making it out pretty good. Yeah, Venice, of course, has the lowest land. I'm guessing, I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess that um, the Shoshone are in this game in North America because not only do they start with more land in their city radius, but they settle like bastards. Like, they, they go absolutely apeshit with their um, settlers. So, I would not be at all surprised if they... Uh, have done that. Oh, that's a horse. Okay, well, let's, uh... Oh, come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, please. Don't come... Don't... No. Yes. No. Yes. 
<laughs> that is what I want. That is the desire of my heart right now, is for this bastard to die. It would be very nice. It's also interesting to look down here while it's scrolling through and seeing what order people spawned in in because, you know, it plopped me down and then it randomly picked um, <clears throat> all the other people to um, put down somewhere on this earth. Oh, you dick. You can't run away like that. Uh, anyway, Babylon has founded Islam in Babylon. Well, we're getting close to every religion being founded. But let's take a look at what Islam has. And also, there's so many religions in the same area. Usually what happens, though, in games like this, two to four religions become really popular in the world. And all the others are just n not popular. Okay, we have happiness for gardens. That's pretty nice. Culture for followers. That's their, um, their goodies. And they get culture from plantations, which is not a bad thing to get. So, it wouldn't be terrible if we got the religion, but we're probably going to get... I can't speak, what the hell. Catholicism. Okay. Um... All right, I'm tempted to like go here and trap him in, but I can't do that. So let's just kill him. I will, we'll have to settle for, for barb slaughter. Really, this guy would be better against the horseman, but we can at least strike uh, strike first. By the way, we're getting we're getting really close to beginning our. Um, our troop buildup. I'm going to bring one of the spearmen. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'm going to bring one of the, the two spearmen from the field back when we get closer to wartime, which will leave this warrior, the spearman, and one archer out here on the frontier protecting things. Oh, speaking of the frontier. Get your butt over there. See, this is why we do this. If we can get over there quickly, there will only be one unit. Alright, speaking of one guy, I think we want to start heading uh, heading this guy back. And... Okay. We run the risk of over... of being overzealous, so we're going to pull this guy back to heal him. All right, he's up there. There's an encampment down there, so we'll go here. And I think we'll be able to get him out of there. Let's peek. Beshvalik. I don't know how to pronounce these cities. But I think this camp, at least, will be easy to smack. Oh, man. It always excites me when war drums beat, you know. We're gonna be uh we're gonna be doing some good stuff here. Yeah, we need this hooked up and we also need that hooked up. And then after that we'll send you back there, took that up, then who knows. Byzantine has reformed Judaism. They've made reform Judaism. Let's see. Faith for pre-industrial land units and later units. They really want to bump up their faith for buying units. A yes. 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 It still says Archer, but don't worry. It's going to mean Composite Bowman. But, yeah, once we have all four, I think it's going to be time to move in. All right, we got shot at. Oh, uh, if we go here, we'll probably live, but the real kicker would be 
There's no way he can go where he's not screwed. I mean, we're kind of in trouble too, but I mean, I'd rather oh, god damn it. I'd rather take out the Krieg Scout with me just out of spite. Well, that was good. Okay. Who are they trading with, these guys? Also, is anyone trading with me? Hey, Poland, my bro. Oh, I appreciate that, Poland. Krakow to Moscow. Krakow being here. Moscow being there. Very, very... I am... I am pleased with you. I I appreciate the heck out of that, Poland. You know, I don't care what they say about you. You're not so bad. Can we be friends, Poland? Pretty please. Oh, wait. No, that's not the right button. Ah, uh, Poland, I really want to be friends because you scare me. If we're friends, Poland, we can divide the world. Korea, sure. You suck, but it's good to have friends. Everyone who sucks wants to be friends, I've noticed. So how about this? If you're friends with us, Poland, we'll let you take over all of Western Europe. Oh, hey, Persia. All right, let's get our embassies hooked up. How did we do it? How did we meet Persia? Oh look, there is a very damaged Persian scout hanging out out there. But yeah, uh, no kidding. When I said this was um, crowded, right? Persia is going liberty. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. Oh crap. Um. All right. Well, where was that? Where was that archer? There was an archer here. I don't know where he went. He didn't go that way. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> Worth a try, though. All right, let's kill this horseman. All right. Um, Saint Petersburg. What do we need from you? Water mill gives us food. Library, of course, gives us shrine, coliseum. There's a whole lot of things we need to build here, but I think it's most important. Hmm. City growth could be a problem with um, happiness. I really want the, to expand into that. Why are we expanding over here? Who cares about those? But, um, oh gosh. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the water mill. All right. Tiptoe by these guys to get out of here. God damn it. I hate you guys. Well, at least I'll be able to scout the back of back of them, and then maybe he'll actually be useful in this war. It's entirely possible. I really wish I knew where that archer went, by the way. He'll show up again. They always do. Turfan. Oh, man. As long as I like to make these episodes, it's almost time to wrap this one up. Religion founded. Shinto. Well, I think it's safe to say the Japanese are in our game because they're the, the ones that usually do that. Fun fact. Whenever I play this game, I always use the Shinto symbol, but I um, I give it some other uh, name, you know? Genghis Khan has uh, completed Statue of Zeus. Good for you. Yeah, die, bitch. And the stupid thing is, he'll stay there. He'll stay fortified forever. Can we... You know what? I usually don't like to be offensive with scouts. But... In this case here... I think it's worth it. Alright. Well, we got a peak. We didn't get to go anywhere. Die. 
Alright, I don't know where that archer went. I really don't. Now, if nothing, uh, if nothing else happens, we can probably get this next turn with our very injured guy. Alright, but let's see what Shinto has. Culture from Pastures. Faster growth rate if the city's not at war. And they got Tithe. If you are playing on this map and you want to be a religious bastard and spread your religion everywhere, Tithe is wonderful. I cannot, I cannot overestimate how good Tithe is. Oh, we are friends with the French now. But yeah, I've gotten like 60 gold plus per turn because of Tithe in games on this world. So, maybe one of these days I'll try for a religious sieve. Oh, hi, Persia. Shoot at him, not me. Jerusalem and Egypt are now allies. Okay, we're changing, uh, changing alliances already. Huh. Oh, good. See ya, Persian scout. It's nice knowing you. The enemy has been spotted near Moscow. Oh, that's where that bastard went. Oh, there's no one around there either. Shit. Okay. Uh. Oh, he's gonna rip that up too. Oh man. Okay. Well, stop attacking that camp. You have to go over there. You clear out this guy. As long as no workers are going to be captured, right? He might he might march down there, but if he if he moves any closer, we'll uh, get him out of there. Maybe this guy will go back. I really want to buy this tile. What the hell? Okay. Anyway, promotion. Who's getting promoted? Oh, my scout. My scout's awesome. We are going to give him survivalism. We're also going to make him heal. We'll make him heal down here, though. It's a little safer. You'll still be able to watch that Greek guy get massacred. All right. Um, I want to make a road, but it's a little scary right now. So come back to the capital, and then we'll start on the road as soon as that guy's dead. All right, and I think this will be the final act of the episode. We are going to kill this encampment. <coughs> Our goal is in desperately shitty condition, so we definitely need to knock over more barbs to get our <laughs> to, get, to get gold. But yeah, we got that one is dead. This one we're gonna kill, and eventually we'll kill this one too. But for now, that is going to be the end of our third really long marathon episode. In episode four. We almost certainly will be going to war, and we'll probably get through the whole war. Seven, uh, so many, so many, so many turns to build these goddamn things. But we're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. And you're going to build, you're going to build a uh, lumber mill right there. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end. So I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time for some conquests. Goodbye.